This is the new incredible DJI Power 1000. Now it is a new product from DJI that is going to revolutionize the portable power market. And today I'm going to be sharing with you something a little bit incredible. And that is a new hack that is going to allow you to get the maximum possible output from this DJI product. Now, if you don't know what the DJI Power 1000 is, it's an incredibly revolutionary power station for charging drones and other devices whilst out in the field. This device has so many features and capabilities and what I would usually do is stand here and demonstrate them to you however that can at times get a bit embarrassing when they don't work properly so instead what I'm going to do is read you the specs off this sheet of paper that DJI sent me that way I'm guaranteed to get paid. Now, before you actually can use your DJI Power 1000, you are going to need to activate it. Don't worry though, this isn't particularly hard. You simply install the app on your phone, provide some basic information such as name, address, date of birth, credit card details, as well as the name of your firstborn. If you don't know what his name is going to be, just put in a fake name and you can always change it to his real name later on. Now, before we get into talk about the power hack, I should talk about compatibility because this new portable power station does work with many products with a compatible plug, but but there are some limitations and it doesn't work with everything. For instance, if you want to charge your DJI drones, it will allow you to charge your latest drones such as the DJI Avatar 2, but if you wanted to charge something like the DJI Avatar original drone, unfortunately there's an intentional block in place preventing you doing it. Today, we don't know if DJI are going to allow you to use this power station with some of their older products in the future. Here and now, they've simply decided that you should go and buy the latest product rather than charge the existing one, because hey, who needs money after all? Now, there is one other thing I should just mention on this with regards to the sockets and the outlets. Whilst they all look like your typical USB and power sockets, they are actually DJI specific. So for instance, if you wanna use them with the latest DJI drones, it will work. But as I mentioned, some of the older drones are intentionally blocked. If you want to use though your normal third party products, you are going to need an adapter. The USB port adapter costs $99 each and the power plug adapter is £199. I'd suggest you pick up four or five of them and that way you're going to have no problems with any of your usage in the field. Now, before I demonstrate this incredible new hack, I should explain why you need it. If you buy this power station in the USA, you do have full power available on its outputs, although they do limit you to one output instead of the usual two. If you buy it in Europe though, not only are you limited to one output, you're also limited to a much lower 25 watts of output on that single output. There is though a way around this and it is what is called the DJI Power Hack. This allows you to unlock this device and get not only the maximum outputs available, but also the maximum output on all of them as well. Now to do this is really straightforward. You need to create a text file in an app such as Notepad++ and inside that text file, write the words EcoFlow sucks. Then once you save that, place it on the SD card, place that file inside the DJI Avata 2. Just to be clear, you have to have the DJI Avata 2 to do this. Then turn on the DJI Avata 2, allow it to connect to the remote controller and the goggles, turn the DJI Avata 2 goggles and remote controller off whilst making sure you leave the drone on, take the SD card out whilst the drone is turned on, place the SD card inside the goggles, turn the goggles back on and then plug them in to the USB port on the front. Then once you've done that, you need to wait at least 10 seconds for the power station to communicate with the goggles. Once that is done, power the goggles back down, connect them to the drone via the USB port, making sure that you use a USB-A to USB-C with a USB OTG adapter, then power it back on and then the power station will be unlocked. This incredible modification means you're going to be able to get the maximum output from this power station straight out the door and then you're going to be able to not have to worry about bringing extension leads and adapters to allow you to get more of the sockets available. So there it is, all done, your power station is unlocked. Now I really hope you have found this video interesting. If you have, there is an affiliate link to this power station in the description where DJI will pay me 5%. Because I haven't said anything negative about the product and you will use my affiliate link, DJI will keep sending me products in the future. So please do make sure you check it out. That way I can keep telling you about exciting new incredible things that you're going to buy later on to find that there are loads of things that don't quite work as you expected. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. Please do make sure you use my links. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.